Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to another quick short video here. Um, so this is the uh, Mahindra Roxor. It is a 2.5 turbo diesel um, side by side vehicle. In uh, India it's known as the Mahindra Tar and it's sold for on-road use. But here in the United States, you know, it's, uh, it's considered a side by side. Now, Mahindra and Mahindra is a company based out of India and they first got their start in 1947 assembling uh, jeeps for wheelies. That's the company that had the initial uh, design and patent for the, uh, for the jeeps. So that's how the Mahindra company started. And for more than 70 years, they have been manufacturing jeeps in various forms non-stop. So this is as close as you can get to the uh, initial original wheelies that was used in the Second World War and became very popular in the 1960s in the United States. A um, couple of things to, uh, to remind you, to talk about. Uh, it, it was launched on the 2nd of March in 2018 in the United States as a side-by-side. -side. Uh, it has a 349 pound payload capacity for the bed and it will tow 3,490 pounds. Um, it's a four-wheel drive, five-speed manual uh, gearbox, even though there's talks of, about an automatic gearbox that we, that's in the works. We don't know if that's gonna happen, but there's talk of that. Um, engine is a 2.5 turbo diesel, puts out uh, 62 horsepower at, um, 3200 rpm it also puts out a uh, 144 pound foot of torque at um, 1400 rpm and that is on a stock model one that has not been tuned or anything obviously the engine is very capable but it has been derated you know tuned down for the american market to make it comply with the regs uh, this vehicle for emissions is compliant with uh, the EPA part 1051. It has ex exhaust gas recirculation, which uh, in some countries it's not, you know, people don't need that and uh, some people delete that, you know, depending on the market. But for the US market, it has EGR. Um, many of the components of the CJs would fit right here. You can see everything is in place for a cost. For, this is sold as a, an on-road vehicle in India. So you find it has um, fittings and uh, you know drilled holes for all the kinds of accessories you would find on the this same vehicle in other markets. Now, uh, the thing I was going to talk about is about uh, diagnosing the this vehicle, uh, the Mahindra. Well, sorry, the Mahindra Roxor. So the way you go about diagnosing it is that it actually has an OBD2 uh, port, but it has the marine version of that port. So you can read the codes from your Roxor using a normal reader, but you will need an adapter. So it's uh, OBD and then you have the M at the end. Uh, so if you look right here under your dash, just go underneath you will see it's a, there should be a yellow cap up there so that's your diagnostic port let me come out again and do it one more time so you can see it's kind of dark in there but uh, right on this other one right here see if it's a bit better not so clear but it's up there look carefully it's a yellow connector with a cap so all what you do uh, remember it's a marine OBD uh, connector you just get an adapter and you'll be able to plug it in and read codes from your car uh, from your your Roxor um, if you found the video useful interesting go ahead subscribe and uh, I'll be getting more content as fast as I can get them. Thanks for watching.